Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'd like to share an experience that I had with a 2018 Tesla, a 100D model. So basically uh, this car was um, out of battery. Uh, I'm not sure about the main battery, but the uh, aux battery or the smaller battery that's usually located here, which is now removed and getting charged. So, uh, basically as far as i know and and i could be wrong but if that battery is not working uh, there's no way to pop the front and that becomes an issue however uh, after doing some research uh, tesla does have some emergency release cables that are normally placed right behind the wheel liners so normally you pop this and it's there's a handle here that you're gonna see and you pull that handle that's the first part and then on the for the first part it's gonna release the latch here and then the second one which is on the opposite side is going to release the hook so you can pop the front however when I went to do that the cables did not work. That emergency system did not work at all. Actually, the cables ripped out. I actually ripped out the cable. There was a lot of resistance and I was pulling, pulling and boom, it just came out completely. And now I'm like, shit, I'm stuck. What do I do in this case? Obviously, I'm not gonna start cutting the hood, trying to figure out something. So I looked at videos as to where the latch was located, of course, in the center, but trying to get an idea on how it works. And basically, I had to sacrifice something, which is this plastic piece here. So as you can see, I'll put my fingers behind, uh, right over here. So I had to drill some holes, as you can see here. And basically, this allowed me to grab this cable right over here and pull on this latch so I was able to pop the front and obviously open the, the front so if you're in the same situation and you're stuck uh, this might be a solution uh, basically I'm not sure I would have to verify if this part is sold separately this black plastic trim behind the bumper however it's better than cutting a trunk so that's one way of getting getting into the car so you can charge that battery. Uh, now that I've had this issue, I'll be installing a positive and negative cable, bringing it down here on top of the plastic liner. So if this ever happens again, I'll be able to charge the battery, at least give it some voltage so that the system can wake up. So that could be a good fix around it for the future as far as an emergency because I don't trust those cables. They didn't work for me and I believe it looks like they don't work for a lot of people. Um, the other thing you can also attach like two, two cables and try to bring them somewhere but that's a bit more complicated. I think installing a positive cable and a negative cable like for a trickle charger type of thing and you bring it here and if you're ever stuck all you have to do is remove the wheel liner and get that done. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this is going to help out somebody that's stuck. Thank you very much for watching.